The man who watches over the Malayo and helps with the protection of them stays in this wooden shelter. The best way to observe the Malayo is to construct a blind out of palm fronds and enter the blind early, before dawn, and stay until the heat of midday when the birds retreat to the forest. Malayos used to breed in many more places in Sulawesi, but the number of sites has diminished by about one half with the encroachment of people. They are hunted some, but the collection of their large eggs, considered a delicacy, is the biggest problem. The eggs are four times larger than chicken eggs. They live in the lowland forests, but are rarely seen away from their communal breeding areas. Like other megapodes, they bury their eggs, but they do not rely on composting vegetation to provide the heat. They lay their eggs in sandy beaches and volcanically heated soils. The eggs hatch from the heat provided by the sun or geothermal sources. Pairs work together to dig a huge hole for each egg. The chicks have to burrow their way up through two to three feet of sand, and when they emerge, they are completely independent and receive no parental care or protection. The depth of the hole depends on the temperature of the sand. Once the birds lay and bury their eggs, they have no control of the temperature. The main natural predator of the eggs is the monitor lizard. Monitor lizards are three to four feet long and can dig well. To help the success rate, many eggs are retrieved and placed in a wire enclosure where the lizards, and hopefully people, will not dig for them. They are watched daily and the chicks are allowed out of the enclosure as soon as they emerge from the sand. The only way the Malayos will survive is if the remaining forests and beaches of this area are protected.